What's up, everybody? It's Alex the Boogeyman here from Title Boxing Club, Rochester, New York. It is midweek. It's time for one of our midweek musings. And this midweek music is going to be about not a controversial topic, but kind of an interesting topic, which is your stance, your fighting stance. I'm going to give you my stance on stances. Now, there's everybody's different, right? We all have different legs, different, you know, the way we move is different. So everybody's stance is going to be slightly different too. You have to find something that you're comfortable doing everything in boxing with. And what works for me may not necessarily work for you. But with all that being said, I do have some strong views on a narrow stance versus a more open stance, on a turn stance versus a more squared stance. None of that even makes any sense. So I'm going to have my camera woman give me a bird's eye view of my feet so I can better explain what I mean. All right, so there is a more narrow bladed stance that I see sometimes, most notably from Sugar Ray Leonard. He was one of the best ever that looks kind of like this. This time I have my left foot turned all the way out. Instead of pointing straight at the target, I have it turned all the way out. My rear foot is still about 90-ish degrees, but they're in a line with each other. So for learning boxing, I do not think this is a good stance to go with because one of the hardest things, I've said this before, is shifting your weight from one side to the other. When you're in this stance, especially when you're facing a bag, I don't know if you can see this bag here, like throwing my hook, I'm kind of off here, shifting my weight, it's going more all the way backwards and forwards versus side to side. I like to have that side hooks coming in from the side. There's other reasons too, but I find this for balance makes things weird for a first time boxer. It's very safe. You can protect yourself if you're more bladed. So if you're fighting in the ring and you're really quick and not a power puncher, can be an awesome stance to go with. Um, but learning boxing, I think we really need to focus on how to use that body, how to shift that weight. So more balance in all directions is important. Um, we don't want to be square necessarily, although Mike Tyson would do that sometimes. I don't like being square. Also, even if we go with kind of my stance where I've got one foot forward, one turned out, I don't want my heels in a line and I see this a lot like so the, the feet are turned but you could draw a line from that to that I don't like that because again I don't have any balance going side to side that kind of has the same problem as this for me so I want if you can see the little puzzle pieces I want my foot out so that you could draw a line through my feet without touching any of my feet so that I'm relatively squared again the drawbacks usually being you're just more open because you're a more squared target to hit but when you're learning, that's okay. You can eventually find your style, find a style that maybe works for you, but especially for those power punches, all the great ones, Tyson, you know, even uh, Naoya, anyway, they have that more open, strong stance. So give it a shot, try it out. It might be hard if you're used to the other way. See what you like. It's gonna it's be an adjustment period, but especially if you're learning, I believe you wanna stay with that nice open stance that I talked about. That is my midweek musing.